um, how dark it gets. Okay. So there's the lights. You can run a Jenny down here. If I switch my torch off, no, we're still getting a little bit of light from that. Let's uh, wait a sec. Right here. I'm going to switch my torch off now. Can you see anything? Seriously, I'm moving around. Look, oh, there's a hole in the hole in the ceiling there. Let's get away out of that. But this is pitch black. Look at me now. Is he out? Oh, I'm already lost. Right, okay, this is the right way. So there's uh, there are lights about. Um, I've got a highlight video actually of lighting the uh, lighting this mine up on my um, my uh, video thing on here on Twitch. So if you want to see it lit up, just have a quick quick watch of that. But here's the radiation pool up. Quite clearly shining blue, even with the torch off. And if you go near that, you're going to get radiation poisoning. I haven't got any anti-rad pills on me, but oh look, excellent tomato juice. That really is good. Yeah. So you can get past it going this way without getting any radiation just by dropping down here. But if you're coming back this way to go out of that exit, you can't jump up this bit. You've got to walk down there to the little. Uh, staircase and come up that way which means you will get radiation poisoning going that way so y you can walk through here and not get any um, here we go that's the generator uh, same thing as the car you open the inventory up and it tells you what you need two batteries a drive belt some oil and diesel it doesn't require spark plugs and then you start the jenny and you light it all up down here and all the lights in the, uh, the, the mine pop on obviously we're not doing that Right, this here is a fucking big hole, and I haven't gone down there, and that's the reason why, look, another radiation pool down there. You do not want to fall in that hole. Uh, I, I would think that that is pretty much certain death, whether it be a slow radiation poisoning or, um, well, the fall. And this is the other entrance slash exit to the uh, mine shaft. So you come back out into land, but we haven't been down into the deep catacombs of the mines, where the little camp is, the disturbing little camp. So let's go back down to where we were, because there are some places you can search in here, like uh, Mrs. M very kindly told me about this one, look, diesel. There's always something, diesel or battery, that spawns here, and when I actually needed a battery to start the Jenny, she told me about this, and it was here. So it saved me having to go all the way back out the uh, the mine again to go and find it. So anyway, instead of climbing up that bit, let's go down here. Look, they left. You'll find out why in a minute. You, you'll understand why as well. It's not very nice down here. Spooky. Oh dear. Ah. That's an interesting one. Healing mushrooms. Healing mushrooms you combine with a normal bandage and a bottle of water to make an antibiotic bandage which uh, I believe is the strongest bandage in the game. It heals you really, really quickly. Uh, antiseptic, the one that you do with um, rubbing alcohol which you can find um, is the next step and then obviously it's a normal bandage in rags. You can rip up your shirt or rip up your trousers into rags in the crafting box in here you just put them in there and craft and it turns it into rags which acts like a bandage. You need rags to make the uh, flame torches that have been introduced into the game. So I'm going to show you the radiation poisoning now. Um, I'm going to go back out the way we came in and which means I've got to go up that staircase past the pool. It's totally random as to how much radiation you get. Um, whether you just get a couple of percent or whether it kills you. So this could be my death. But for in the sake of streaming, let's do it. Put 4% there, quickly get up, quickly, quickly. 10% I finished up with there, that's actually not too bad. Um, I have died from just running past that, but also you will notice, even at 10%, everything looks a little bit green. Uh, we'll find out, obviously, more when we get back out of the, uh, the mine into the daylight, and you'll notice that 
if I go to another day server, which I probably will, I'll just switch straight over to a day, you'll, you'll get a green tint all over the screen. Well, that's because I've literally got radiation poisoning. The more you get, the more green it goes. Uh, switch the torch off. I'll quickly leave this server. Go to a daylight one, and then you'll see what I mean. Uh, what have we got? Oh, wow. More people playing now. Look, what have we got? 15, 16, 18, 21, 25, 28. 28 people. That's gone down a little bit, but everybody's doing what I'm doing. Pretty much. They're all going on the low pop servers to get the loot. Uh, we'll go Turkey. 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 Whack, whack, whack. Don't forget, if you haven't got a copy of the game, check out Man of War's stream. He's giving a copy of Miscreated away this Saturday at 4pm GMT. You just have to, have to be present in the stream on that day. Although, if you nip to his stream when he is on, uh, ask him for more information if you're across the world. Because he has got a full list of uh, times um, worldwide of when it's, when it's going off. So, uh, yeah, tell your mates, get over there on Saturday if they want a free copy. All they have to do is be there. I think Aladar's uh, giving a copy away as well. I'm not sure if it's miscreated. I, I heard him saying something to do with a Razor mouse pad. Uh, so if you, you check Aladar out, I think he's going to hit 100 followers and then he's going to um, randomly give away that, uh, that prize. I think he might be doing a little booby prize as well. I'm not sure. So uh, let me try and get some data. It's 6.50 in the morning, but if I get into some sunlight, I can show you my face and it. It certainly doesn't look as healthy as it was earlier. Okay, so if I go into first person, I have now got a uh, a very sort of radiated tint to my skin, and everything looks a little bit more green. <laughs> 